Hi everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Welcome. Alright, so I got five bags of yarn here for $10, but now it's six bags because I have separated the yarn um, into four weights and three weights um, and two and one weight and vintage labeled yarn. So now I have six bags. Yeah, so we're going to show what we can in this first video. There'll probably be two videos. All right, we're going to tell a little story before I show you this yarn. All right, so on Saturday, September 2nd, 23, Sarah from Sarah's Little Corner of the Crochet World. Oh, hi, Sarah. She invited myself and um, Karen from Karen Pruden's Let's Stitch and Make Up to go to her place. We, um, Sarah and myself live in the city of Winnipeg. Karen lives outside the city. So we went to her place. We've, we've all met before and hung out and, you know, had a great time as always. And so I'll link their channels below, of course. And then Cindy the Crocheter A. Hi, Karen and Cindy. <laughs> Cindy um, has moved out of the city. And uh, so she she wasn't there, but we did a live on Sarah's channel. So she came up on the screen, Cindy did as well. Um, and so did, um, so did uh, okay, names, names. Crystal from... Steel Sky. Hi, <laughs> Crystal. She was up on the screen, too. So it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. So we went through Sarah's yarn. She showed us her yarn. She has a lot of yarn, you guys. But she's a... She is... She shops for deals. Deals! And she gets so many great deals. She goes on Facebook Marketplace. She goes on Kijiji. Um, other websites, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, and she goes to um, Dollar Tree, Dollarama, um, thrift stores. She is a professional yarn shopper <laughs> for deals. Professional yarn deal shopper. <laughs> okay. So what I've done with these bags, there were five of them. I, I think I just mentioned in a little clip there. Yeah, I separated them um, she she was just showing us her yarn and uh, what she was going to keep and what she was going to give away. So Karen and I kind of picked what we liked. And uh, Karen mostly was, I guess she's most, you're mostly into wool, right? There are some wool ones in here. But anyway, enough talking. Let's just get into it. So I have the one and two weights, I'm kind of guessing, right here. And vintage labels. Um, there may be some vintage labels and some of the other ones I have missed, but anyway, you'll see them all. You'll see everything. First of all, our beautiful Karen. Thank you, Karen. She gave, um, one of these to myself and one to Sarah. It's Loops and Threads Shimmer Shawl. And, uh, this is, um, class size is three weight, but these are skinny. I've had, I had one before. But not this color. I mean, they're skinny. But they have a halo. So I guess they count the halo. And this colorway is, oh, first of all, 61% cotton, 34% acrylic, 5% polyester. Color is raspberry mousse. And I, I really like the look of thin yarns when they're worked up. Um, 962 yards in a 300 gram ball. I don't think they make these anymore. But oh, thank you, Karen. All right, let's go on. Let's go to just whatever. Okay. Now, some of these, like I said, well, these are one and two weight. I'm kind of guessing at some of them. Um, let's see. I don't want to um, take up too, too much of your time, but this is Crafter Square. Princess yarn. It says 100% acrylic, 410 yards. And this is a Dollar Tree brand. I mean, look how thin that is. 
Yeah. So there's that one. I don't think they say color names. Let's see. Um, no. But it says imported by something in USA and that says in Canada. Imports Burnaby, BC. Made in Turkey. All right. <laughs> so we have this wine color, beautiful wine color. And um, looks like there's two. Yeah, I didn't plan this very well. Goodness, where am I going to put them? <laughs> so there's a very skinny. Let's see. There's some other crafters square as well. That's a gorgeous looking um, purplish. Yeah, and I actually have plans. I'm already thinking about stuff. So I don't know what this one is. There's no label, but it's a thin yarn. Okay, so she got some of these from thrift stores, so they're not going to have labels. Okay, this one is very, very, very thin. I'm thinking about putting, this is a light pink. Thinking about putting that these with something. I have ideas. I have ideas. I'm always getting ideas in my head and I am. I gotta grab another bag. I'll be right back. An empty bag. Okay. I emptied the first bag on the table. All right. So we were talking about this one. Um, I don't know. Can I turn you down a little lower? No. <laughs> okay. I gotta put you back up here. Okay, so this one, we're, I was just showing you very, very, very thin. I have ideas to put, you know, put this with another yarn. Okay. And then there's this. I don't know what yarn this is. It's pretty thin as well. And, uh, yeah. It's just kind of a pinkish. And we have these blues, very, very thin. This one here looks to me like um, Karen, uh, no, yeah, Karen Simply Soft. Come here, you. Karen Simply Soft, which is what? Is it a three weight? But I, I guess I stuck it in with the ones and twos, but I don't know, really. Correct me if I'm wrong if um, Karen Simply Soft is a three. I don't know what it is. I can't remember. But look at that beautiful pink, shiny, so soft, so soft. So there's that. And then there's some more of the Crafter Square. Oh, this is much easier. <laughs> okay, there's a black, another purple. Yes, another purple and a green. So. That's nice. They're all very thin. Okay, now these I, these might be. I'm not sure if these are um, vintage labels. Super soft baby four ply, James C. Brett. Isn't that a cute label? That is so stinking cute. So there's two of these. Um, hundred percent acrylic. 100 grams, shade is BY6 on them both. Let's see, James C. Brett, uh, West Yorkshire, yeah, they're, they're um, UK yarn, four ply, so yeah, very thin. But isn't that a cute little label that is so stinky? Stinking cute. So there's two of these. So they don't say the yardage. They do not say the yardage. But there's two. Very light pink. Okay. All right. Go on to the next one. Okay. These are milk cotton they say they're milk cotton 
Um, there's three, three different ones. Okay, soft, 100% soft acrylic. Let me read one while I hold one up. Well, that's not showing true to color. It's brighter than what I see on my screen. Okay, so they're chi made in China. Color is 11 on that one. This color is 23. This one doesn't have a label. Mm, and that's it. That's it. I mean, it's it's pretty soft. Yeah. So those three. Okay. Now these are 100% luxury cotton four ply. What is a four ply exactly? <laughs> is that like a two weight? Wendy Supreme 100% luxury cotton four ply. Okay, I got two here. Machine washable, mercerized cotton. And this is, uh, where's the thingies? Um, approximately 267 meters, 292 yards. York, West Yorkshire. So it's a UK. They don't, uh, hmm. 100 grams, okay. Uh, shade is blank. So, but what else? If I forgot anything, I'll probably write it on the screen. But there's two of those and it's kind of a pinkish. Very pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to go on to these okay i don't know what this one is it has a label it's very 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 pale yellow extremely pale yeah it's got a label but there's nothing written on it could it be that old it faded don't know maybe <laughs> okay and these ones these are very light um, yellow as well. These are, it says Wendy Peter Pan 3 ply 50 gram net at standard condition, new soft blend, machine washable, cool tumble dry, 50 grams made in England by Thomas B. Ramsden and Company, Bradford Limited. Geisley, West Yorkshire. Shade is 303. Yes. On both of them. Same thing. 55% nylon, 45% acrylic. Um, I think that's it. But a cool label. So I have two. Very, very light, um, pale yellow. All right, so that's it for that bag. Let's go into the next bag. Go on to the next bag. Let's see the next bag. Okay, so these are also Crafter Square. Now, I think these might be... This might be a three weight. Um, I was kind of not knowing if there are three or two. These ones here. Could be a three, right? Crafter Square Knitting Yarn, 100% polyester, 50 grams, 1.7 ounces. Uh, made in China. Sparklies, very pretty blue. It's showing a darker blue on my screen. But Crafter Square is um, Dollar Tree, right? I think these might be a three weight. 
What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, I think three weight. Did I say what they were made out of? I probably did. 100% polyester. Okay. So there's two, three, four, five. <laughs> what a girl. Oh, Sarah. Six, seven, all sparkly here. Eight, nine. <laughs> okay. I think that's it for that color. Yes, it is. Okay, now here's another crafter square. Uh, same thing, knitting, uh, knitting yarn. It says, well, you can crochet with it. 100% polyester, 50 grams, 1.7 ounces. And so this is sparkly as well. It's uh, maybe an off-white with a bunch of sparklies. Yeah, I think that's a three, right? Okay, sparklies. Okay, so that's three. Four, five, six. Oh, gee. Wait, is there another one? No, six. Okay, six of those. Very nice, sparkly. Okay, that's it for that bag. So I'm thinking these are threes. So that's what I'm going to say. But if you guys say, no, no, those are twos, let me know in the comments, please, please, please. I think they're threes. <laughs> Put all these back in the bag. So I have all my yarn on my shelves organized by um, by weight. So I have acrylic and acrylic blends, um, four weights on the top, and then I have the four weight cotton or cotton blends, like that, like that. So. Yeah, I can just compare with what I have, really, to see. Are you a three weight, a four weight, or are you? No. I always, I sometimes get mixed up between two weights and three weights, because sometimes they say two weight, but it looks like one weight. Sometimes they say two weight, but it looks like three weight. These don't even actually have what the weights are. But anyway, here we go. Again. So this is the last bag for this video, okay? I'm going to do another video. Maybe two more videos. Who knows? <laughs> okay. So this, this this is a vintage label. Miracle Mart. Miracle Mart. 33 cents. 33 cents. Wow. I think this is the only one like this. All right. Miramar. Nylon crimpist. Three ply. Approximately one ounce or 28 grams. Machine washable, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. They say Celsius now, don't they? Yeah, they do. Do not bleach. Tumble dry at low setting. Do not press. Or iron. It says do not press. Do not hang to dry. May be dry cleaned. Okay, uh, let's see what else. What else is of interest? 100% nylon. 100% nylon. Made in Canada for Miracle Mart, a division of Steinberg's Limited, Montreal, Canada. Isn't that interesting? I did. Did I not see the yardage? 28 grams. But isn't that interesting? Here, let me show you this label. 33 cents. Isn't that crazy? So you can pause your video if you like and, uh, you know, if I'm going too fast. Well, I'm not getting too much of a shine. That is craziness. 
And then it has, um, okay, what is this? Oh, tension guide. Yeah, tension guide for needles in English and French. Okay, there you go. Tension guide for needles in English and French. That is so cool. Wow. Is there anything written on the inside of the label? <laughs> you never know, right? No, don't see anything. But that's it there. So yeah, that's so cool. Okay. So that's the vintage one. And then all of, not all of this is the same. Okay. Sit down so my head's not cut off. All right, so this, there's several of these. These are Patton's Beehive Baby. That one was blue, you could probably tell. This one's white, Beehive Baby. That's the label. Oops, okay, so what does it say on the label? Well, it says, hmm, US Dream Needle. Machine washable and dry dryable. Do not bleach or press. Uh, and it says the color is 3430. It says, oops, go this way now. Um, oh, okay. 100%. Let me show you that. 100%. Acrylic, 286 yards, 261 meters, one and three quarter ounces, 50 grams, made in Canada, Coates Patents, Toronto, Ontario. Yeah, interesting. So again, that was B Patton's Beehive Baby. I gotta watch my, um, battery on my phone here because I've been doing a lot of videos today. Okay, so there's two. There's more than two. Oh, three. Four. Five. Six. <laughs> and these are, look, I think those are two weight, right? So what was that? Six. And I think that's it. Okay. Let's go on to the next, whew, next um, vintage. Now this says Baycrest all-purpose yarn four ply, and then some Francais on there. Okay, 100% acrylic, unshrinkable, approximately one ounce. Oh, wait, this label's folded over. Okay, I'll, I'll hold this one up. <laughs> um, unshrinkable, moth proof, machine washable and dryable, do not press. Hudson Bay Company, dye lot number one. Oh, these are different. This one is dye lot 21. And then they have French, 28.3 grams. Uh, Baycrest, so that was Hudson Bay Company. Okay, so there's like a little bit of an off-white. Oh, it looks white to me in the camera. But maybe it is, well, I don't know. It's got a different lot, dye lot number. Huh, okay, so. There are two of those. This one, Dye Lot 21. Dye Lot 21. I don't think that's a, the two was rubbed off because the one is right in the middle. So, here's another one, Dye Lot 21. <gasps> 
me see. Is that it? Okay, I think that's it. So the Bay, Hudson Bay Company, they closed, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. <laughs> now this, Mary Maxim Heirloom Sport Weight. Okay, that's a number two. 50% Seau, 50% Antron, Nylon Acrylic. It's saying, okay, so I have a few of those. So Mary Maxim. I know Mary Maxim has been around a long time. Okay. Net weight, two ounces, machine washable and dryable, moth proof. You don't see that on yarn anymore, do you? Moth proof. Color fast, non allergenic. Print made in USA, printed in USA. <laughs> Shade one. Dye lot 22187.01. Washing instructions, machine washing, use warm water and Mary Maxim cold water shampoo or any other mild soap. Always machine dry after machine washing at low temperature. Remove garment right after drying. Hand washing, washing, use warm water with Mary Maxim cold water shampoo or any other mild soap. Rinse well in cold water and roll in towel to remove excess water. Dry on flat surface, do not stretch or hang. Mold to shape and allow to dry thoroughly. We do not recommend that synthetic yarns be dry cleaned as high temperature may cause damage to the fibers. Oh, there's a lot of information here. There's still more. Um. Okay, machine washing recommended. Do not bleach, do not hang to dry, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Do not press, machine dry, do not dry clean. All oh, this is in French as well. Mary Maxim Incorporated, Port Huron, Michigan. Mi that's Michigan, right? M I C H, USA. And this is Paris, Ontario, Canada. Canada! All right, ooh, look it. Look, look, look. It's got a Spinning wheel. Picture of a spinning wheel on there. That is so cool. Okay, I think that's all the information. Yeah, very cool. So very cool. I could have done a whole video just on this, on the vintage labels. Okay, so there's two, three, Okay, that's it. Okay, I think I have just one one more yarn in the vintage pile here. Look at this. Oh, is there a price? There's a price right here. $3.99? That's outrageous. <laughs> this is Lady Fair Crystal Baby Yarn 3 Ply 50 Grams. And this is from the Eaton Company, which also closed um all right look at it. it's got shininess can you see the shininess it's pink i have several of these <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> all right machine washing lukewarm water do not bleach tumble dry at low heat eaten product Research Bureau de, oh, what? Don't know, don't know. All right, so it says tension, oh my goodness. Oh, these are the needle size, three millimeter needle, made in Canada, 77% acrylic, 23% viscose. Um, Color four eight. It's a little faded. Four eight six eight maybe. Lot twenty six. Okay, let me show you this label better. Okay. 
And yeah, like I said, you can pause if you want a closer look and slower look. Three ninety nine for these. Like. Three dollars and ninety nine cents. Wow, that's it. That must have that must have been expensive yarn. It was expensive. <laughs> okay, but oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so that was two, four, five. Not with a label. Oh, here's the label. <laughs> Is there anything on the inside? No. Okay. What was that? Five? Six, seven? Eight? Okay. So that is it for the two, the uh, one and two weight, the vintage labels. Those other ones are possibly a three weight. So I'll do another video um, on the next bags. But when, you know, when Sarah had you know, she kept grabbing bags and filling them or showing us, you want this, you want this. And um, so I asked her, how much do you want for this? Because I, I wasn't just going to take it, you know. Uh, $10. $10. And this isn't even all of it yet. There's going to be another video. So, wow. <laughs> wow, well, where am I going to put it all? <laughs> and I have some other yarn coming from a couple of different companies. So, all right. Thank you, um, Sarah. And uh, this is part one. There'll be a part two, um, which I'll record soon. I, I got to check the battery on my phone. I do everything on my phone and I have to charge between doing things. So it takes a while sometimes to do videos. All right. So I better get off here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. What did you like the best? Did you love these um, vintage yarns, like vintage labels? Like cool right very cool all right you guys i'll see you soon in the next video thanks everyone bye